Folio for me uses the Mahara platform to enable you to create an ePortfolio. It will allow you to add text, pictures, documents, journals, etc. and display them in a format suitable to be presented um, on your online CV. On screen at the moment um, is one such example that we created and this tutorial will show you the basics to produce such an ePortfolio. This shows various elements, uh, the text box, uh, adding documents that can be downloaded, um, an image slideshow, uh, an awards box, and, and a journal uh, as well. There are quite a few other elements you can uh, add to your ePortfolio, but really these are, are the basics. So let's go and create an ePortfolio. So uh, log in. And you'll be presented with a, a dashboard and what we want to concentrate on is the um, portfolio um, tab. Within the portfolio tab uh, we want to create a page. This will actually create your ePortfolio um, account. So create page and there we are the page has been created. We just need to add various elements now to the actual page itself. First of all uh, we'll probably want to uh, change the title um, of it to my page and my profile. And you'll then see that that will change up the top there. Uh, you have various some layouts to, to choose from. Uh, we've actually got um, chosen the, the free equal widths, but um, there's quite a few others to choose from. Uh, if we go back to the main page again, uh, again you don't have to stick with this sort of um, grey format here. You can change your theme. Uh, we'll choose sunset. Now we want to add a, a text box and go to the general tab, add a text box. And all we need to do here now is just to drag and drop uh, the text box down below the uh, here you can now see the three different columns that we've chosen. Uh, we'll choose the first one on the left hand side, just drop it, uh, change the title, my portfolio, save it, and there you are. If you ever need to, um, to edit the, uh, the actual text box, just click on the configure button and you can just change things around. To add a profile like the one in our example, this profile information here, uh, you just go to the profile and tab, profile information, drag it down, and at the moment we want to create. Um, some text as well as a picture. We don't have a picture at the moment, so let's upload one. Um, just browse, go to the picture that you want to upload, upload it. That's now in the system. We just close that one down, close that box down, click on OK to edit, and then drag it back into the central column again. And you will then see um, the picture appear. Just click on that. Introduction text, my profile again, click save, and it appears in the uh, your page. If you want to create uh, an awards box, uh, just like the one that we've um, shown on our example um, down there, uh, just go onto the resume a button, click the one resume a field, drag it again to uh, whichever column you want. At the moment, it's not showing you any. Uh, options to choose from so we'll fill out our resume. We want to go to achievements and under achievements uh, the accreditations and awards button click add uh, just fill in the boxes like so save it and we now need to go back to the portfolio tab which will take us back to the main uh, dashboard page. Uh, that's our page that we've created to edit it and go back into creating resume. We've actually, there's the actual resume button there. We just need to click on the configure button to change it. And there's our awards uh, options. So we'll click that. 
we'll just want to change the title to Awards. Click Save, and there's our uh, there's our awards box. If you ever need to see what some of your page is going to look like um, by people on the net, then just go to Display Page at the top there, and that's what it will look like. So you've created a, a, a document that you want people to download. Go to Files, click on Files to download, add it to wherever you need to add it on your ePortfolio page. You want to upload the file, browse to the document that you want to upload, change the title, and click Upload, and then save and your document is now within your ePortfolio page. To create a journal uh, of the uh, activities that um, you participated in uh, you actually need to go back to the dashboard uh, for this one so click done uh, then go to content uh, tab uh, click your journal uh, tab and click a new entry type in whatever you want today my actions uh, click save entry your journal is now been created but we now need to go back to the portfolio page and edit it so we can click on the uh, edit button uh, go to the journals tab uh, we've chosen recent journal entries put it drag and drop it down into uh, wherever you wish to um, place it. Uh, we just created that journal and that's the um, journal created there. You can change the number of items that um, you want to show. Uh, again you can change um, the title to so just journal and click the uh, your journal to make it active. Click and save and your journal is now within your ePortfolio page. To upload uh, pictures into your account is a relatively uh, easy operation, but um, you need to be mindful uh, of the 50 megabytes and data limit uh, that the Folio for Me uh, platform uh, imposes upon you. Uh, there is a way to circumvent this, uh, and we can show you this in the uh, next um, operation. But for the time being, we're going to um, add a collection of um, pictures. Uh, the way to do that uh, is to create a folder and click the Create Folder tab click on the folder name that you've just created uh, upload file one picture and then uh, another picture and that's the, the two pictures within your um, account go back to the uh, portfolio uh, page and again you want to edit your page that you've created under the uh, files and image um, tab we want to create an image gallery, so we'll create an image gallery, drag it down to the uh, bottom there. Uh, click on the folder that you want that you've just created, select. Uh, you can create either thumbnails and, or a slideshow. Um, so we're just going um, to show you this, the, the thumbnails image at the moment, those two there. But again, if you want them a slideshow, uh, just click on the, the slideshow, uh, amend the actual uh, width itself, click save. And if you go to the display element, you can then see how that's being created. As mentioned before, um, there is a way to um, circumvent the 50 megabyte and data limit, uh, and that's to host your pictures onto a third party platform. The way to um, add that into your ePortfolio account uh, is to um, drag and drop the Embedly widget uh, into your own page. And uh, here we want to find out the uh, the URL of the actual uh, account that we um, created. We actually created an account on SlideShare, and we need to go and click on this link here, which will take us to the Embedly page. Uh, then click on the Providers tab. Scroll down to where SlideShare is, and it will then tell you then what the URL is that you need to insert into the Folio for Me. Uh, text box. Uh, in this case, we need to. This is the actual uh, 
portfolio evidence and slideshow account that we need to um, add to our uh, folio from the account and we need to get the URL from the embed link copy that and add that to notepad we actually only need this portion uh, of the uh, of the slideshare account once we've done that copied and pasted into the folio for me URL box we then need to just tell them what the width is that we require save it and from there it should be embedded into your portfolio account and again you can see what it looks like uh, by going to display page and that's that's it in there so they were the basic elements to create your e-portfolio page uh, there's plenty more widgets than to discover uh, thank you very much for watching